It was early 2017. Jimmy and I were about a year and a half out of college, okay. both working, you know, a nine to five office job. Not in food, not in not anything. Not in food. <laughs> okay. No. Okay. <laughs> I had gone to school for music business, okay. um, which is pretty common in Nashville. I wanted to work in the country music industry. I was one of the lucky people who actually got a job in the music industry, which I felt very excited about coming out of college. But then I was about a year and a half into going into an office every day, sitting in a cubicle, staring at a computer, putting data in, basically doing a job that I felt like a robot should be doing. And I was just miserable. I felt like I had no control over my future, over my success, how far I could advance, what I was spending my time doing. And it's like when you're working a nine to five job, most of your life is spent at work. You know, like the things you're doing outside of work are not how you're spending most of your time. So I was so miserable doing that, that it was just bleeding into the rest of my life. And I was questioning everything at that point. Why did I go to college? Yeah. This isn't as yeah. green. Yeah, Why did I go to college cool? yeah. and spend, you know, over a hundred grand on a degree to work in this industry, to sit in right. this cubicle? And why did I intern full time during college to get this experience? And that was kind of the point where I was like, I just can't do this anymore. You know, I am mm -hmm. wasting my life away. And I had only ever created one Thing that was original to me and that was a cookie dough recipe I love cookie dough I always have it might sound weird but it's like that was my dessert of choice you know some people have like a candy stash in their cabinet some people have pints of Ben and Jerry's in their freezer you know sure. for when they want that late night snack or whenever the case may be but I had flour sugar and butter always because mm -hmm. I would make you know some kind of confection that resembled cookie dough that I felt like I could eat because I was leaving eggs out of it. Mm -hmm. And so I had created this chocolate chip recipe that was safe to eat. I thought it tasted delicious. And I was like, I can't possibly be the only person in the world who likes to eat cookie dough as a snack food. I, it just can't be possible. Truth. So yeah. I took that, I took that recipe. I took the idea of starting what is now no baked and I just said to myself, I can't do this job anymore. I should try to do my own thing mm -hmm. and just see what happens. And did you quit right away or was there a time where you're like, yeah, you did, you went cold turkey? So kind of, basically I spent all of my lunch breaks at this job that I was working, creating like a Squarespace website and okay. an Instagram page. And I delivered samples of the cookie dough to local Nashville influencers just in the area. And I told them like, I'm launching on this day. If you could just post about it, that would be awesome. You know, wow. we're a local up and coming business. I really had no plan. I had no idea what I was going to do, but mm -hmm. I at least like sold this small vision to them. Yeah. And Nashville is the kind of place that really supports local and yeah, new It's very things. collaborative. Yeah. Yeah. A, a great community for businesses. So I did that just kind of hoping they would post and I would at least get some kind of traction. And so it was March 30th of 2017, and I launched the website where people could order online, and I just said, you know, we'll deliver it to you or ship it to you. I really didn't have a plan. Again, I was just kind of winging it. Still had my job. It was a Sunday, and I think I maybe got 10 orders. Okay. But Which is I, huge. I mean, that's I, at that I, moment in yeah, time. Yeah, I was like, oh my gosh. Like the, the first order came through and I was like, wow, someone actually bought this. I can't even believe and it. it wasn't your cousin or your mom. No, just a random person. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, okay. And I went into work the next day, still had my job. And I think I spent the first two hours staring at my computer, going to like the phone room, calling Jimmy, calling my mom, being like, I want to quit. Like, I think I should quit. I think I should quit right now. Oh, wow. And it I was just that. this internal argument where with myself where I was like, okay, I have this job at this huge company in the music industry. I spent the past four years of my life going to school, interning, getting the experience that I needed to get this to get job. job. Right. If I walk away from this today, I'm never like, I can't come back. It's like a kiss of death. Yeah, you can't come back from that. You know, you're walking away from a very notable place that people will listen to what they say. Yeah. And I just said to myself, okay, like, I either make no-baked work or 
I don't know what I'll do. 